Hey, what's up YouTube? Uh, Mr. Jake coming at you with a, uh, how you guys doing? With a movie review of Wonder Woman. Uh, this is a running time of 2 hours and 21 minutes. Um, let's talk about this movie. This movie has its pros and its cons, but by far, the movie is better than Green Lantern. The movie is better than... It had its moments where it was definitely easier to follow than Batman vs. Superman. And as far as the Justice League, well, that hasn't come out yet. So that remains to be seen what that movie is like. New subscribers, welcome to my world. How you doing? Uh, what's up, Jay Martinez? When you text me the info earlier about your new account, I was at work. And I was just looking through my phone, killing time till I started. And so I got you, dog. What's up? Um, and everyone else, what's happening, y'all? Now, as most of you know, if you don't know, I'm a comic book head. I like movies like movies. That's what I think the summer. And if you're going to go to a movie, you need to watch a blockbuster, something with big explosions. Yes, I know it's fake. Yes, I know it's CGI, computer graphics, imagination, uh, something like that. But anyway, let's talk about Wonder Woman. Two hours and 21 minutes. There's no after end credits. You know, for you serious fans out there, this is not a Marvel movie. There's no post credit scenes or nothing like that. The movie basically just starts off from the beginning. The origin story. First, I was like, two hours and 20 minutes. God leash, this is going to be forever. But then it was in Gal Gadot is fucking hot. Man, I mean, I know she she was okay in Fast and Furious because, you know, she was in part six and part seven. There's some, did she? Yeah, part six and part seven. And, whoo, shit. Or it's part five and part six she was in. And part four. Well, she died in one of them, not to give it away if you into the Fast and Furious trilogies. But she was hot as hell. Whoo. Some of those scenes that they were capturing on her while she was trying to figure out human and civilian life. Because she, she was different from the other folks, the way she grew up. Not to give it away. She just grew up differently. Whew, man. Well, anyway, um, the movie was pretty good. I mean, you learned a lot. There's a lot I didn't know about Wonder Woman that I learned, too. There's no cameos. Sorry. I thought we would get a sneak peek. There might be Easter eggs, but I didn't pay no attention. If it is, it went by real quick. Oh, yeah, there is an Easter egg. There's some Easter eggs in there that one I did pay close attention to. But yeah, out of the, what everybody's saying about the movie is they hyping it up to what it's supposed to be. Yeah, if you're a true, like if you got patience for this movie and you really dig in Wonder Woman and you think this movie might be good, you'll enjoy it. But if you're just going in there from the hype of it and don't care too much for it, you might get a little bored. The action scenes though, she, it's good. I give it a B plus. Well, I give it a B. 8.9. I'm not going no higher than that. A 8.9. What kept her from a 10? I don't know. I wanted some cameos from the boys, Batman and Superman. But this was a woman movie. So there was some buff ass woman in the beginning. Not to give it away. But I was like, shit. Where did they find those extras? At the gym. Well, anyway, y'all. That's it. I gave it an 8.9. If you're a serious Marvel fan or you want to take your children or just the women want to go out, ladies, Wonder Woman, if you want to see woman empowerment or whatever you call it, go for it. If not, wait to red box it. Um, yeah, they did good. DC did good. So I hope they keep it up. Congratulations, Zack Snyder. Uh, it can definitely be a sequel. And um, I just hope they keep it up with Justice League coming out this November. So on that note, I got to go. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.